happy Tuesday. I hope you're enjoying this week's new topic. Do you remember what we're learning about? We are learning about our home. Where is our home? In America. Can you say that with me? America. Nice job, bumblebees. So today we're going to be reading another story about America. And before we do that, let's review what we learned about yesterday. Our flag, which represents our home. So what do you notice about our flag? What colors do you see? Red, white, and blue. And what else do you notice is on our flag? Stripes and stars. I have a tricky question for you. Do you remember how many stars are on our flag? There are 50 stars. Can you say that with me? 50. Nice job, that's a big number. And do you remember how many stripes are on our flag? There are 13. 13. Nice job, bumblebees. So now let's read our story today. Let's take a look at the cover. What do you notice? I notice the American flag, which we just reviewed. And what's this? This is a bald eagle. Can you say that with me? Bald eagle. And this is one of the symbols that we're going to learn about tomorrow. Can you guess what this represents? What does a bald eagle represent? It represents freedom. Freedom. Nice job, bumblebees. We're gonna learn a lot more about that tomorrow. So the title of the story is called America Is. So let's learn what America is all about. America is our country. It is the place we call home. We are the nation whose names mean freedom to people all over the world. So let's take a look. There's lots of good things in this. So take a look, what do you notice? Do you know what this is called? That is called the Statue of Liberty. Can you say that with me? Statue of Liberty. Nice job, Bumblebees. We're gonna learn a lot more about this tomorrow, but this is another symbol of freedom. We, there are four symbols that we're gonna go over tomorrow, and this is another one. America is 50 states from the Atlantic coast to the Pacific Ocean and beyond. The United States of America. Some states are big, some states are small. 13 of the states are very old. The rest come later one by one. So this is a map of America. And then all of these little different colored boxes are all of the states. Do you remember how many states there are? There are 50 states, just like there are 50 stars on our flag. So take a close look at all of those states. America is a flag of stars and stripes. 50 stars for 50 states we have now. 13 stripes for the 13 states that began our nation. Where have you seen an American flag before? Where have you seen one? I know we've seen one in our classroom, right? America is the pledge we say at school. It is the song we sing, hands over our hearts. America is old barns and country roads, fields of corn and wheat, and farmers who work hard to sundown. American farmers grow food that feeds family all over the world. America is teachers and their students in schools in every state, and minders and factory workers, artists and musicians, bakers and bankers, and millions of other people who work at many different kinds of jobs at every hour of the day and night. Take a moment, Bubblebees, and think about your parents or your family members. Where do they work? What is their job? America is skyscrapers, tall, with many windows, up, up, up. Where might you see a skyscraper? We talked about this this year. Where might you see these really tall buildings? 
in the city, right? And people in cities who rush from work, in cars, in buses, in taxi cabs, on subways and fast trains. Whoosh! Hong Kong, hurry, hurry! From New York City to Chicago to Los Angeles, this is America. What does the city sound like if you've been there? Is it loud or quiet? It's loud and noisy in the city, right? Because there's so many people. America is the swamps of the deep south and ponds that glimmer from east to west and lakes so huge and deep that they seem as big as the ocean and rushing streams and creeks and brooks and rivers that are long and wide that bring our states together as one vast land from the Hudson to Ohio to the Mississippi to the Columbia. This is America. America is home to its very first people, the proud tribes who live in peace with the earth and the sky, whose words bring wisdom to all those who listen. And America is those of us who came later, many kinds of people from many countries of the world. We are one family and one team. We are Americans. And America is tall grass and wind and stars. Listen, this is America. America is the stone walls of New England, the forests of Northwest, the ospreys and the oysters of the Bay. And the winters 10 degrees below zero and sometimes colder. How does it feel when it's cold outside really? really chilly, right? The West and its ranches are part of the nation too, with 10 gallon hats and boots, with herds of cattle and lassos in cowboys' hands. Rodeo, yippee yay, this is America. America is rugged mountains with caps of snow and deserts that are hot and dry. 100 degrees in the shade. 110 degrees. Is that hot or cold? Really hot. It's Niagara Falls and the Grand Canyon and sandy beaches to fly on a kite or dig all the way to China. So much to see in every state. America. America is big trucks and wide horizons and roads that take us east and west, north and south. And America is old towns with old names and new towns yet to be that tell our history then and now. It is a nation where 50 states meet, where we are all one. America is the land where we are free to live, to speak out, to worship, to work, to play, to follow our dreams. America is the land of freedom. What does it mean to have freedom? So freedom is the right to vote, the right to live, the right to speak out, to worship, to play. America is names we remember like George Washington, Ben Franklin, Harriet Tubman, Abraham Lincoln, and Martin Luther Jr. King. The holidays we call our own, like Thanksgiving in November, to honor the pilgrims and the Native Americans, and the 4th of July, when every summer in every state fireworks light up our sky. Happy birthday, America. We connect across the rivers, across the mountains, across the miles, across America. America is the stories of all of us told together. From continent to continent across the world, we are the nation whose name means freedom. America is our country. It is the place we call home. The end. So Bumblebees, what is one thing that you learned from this story? What is America to you? Please comment down below and talk about this with your families. 
Nice job, Bumblebees. I can't wait to hear your answers.